Yo, what's going on everybody? It's your boy Scotty here. Welcome back to another Fortnite video. In today's video guys, I have something very different for you. We are not going to be diving into solos and, and getting the victory royale. We're, we're not even going to disco domination and getting sniper kills. We're going to be going into the replay mode and taking a look at one of probably the best clutches I've ever had on the game. Uh, the most flawless clutches too. So right here, as you can see, I have a 16 kill Victory Royale game loaded up in replays. And what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be going into this replay, watching the whole thing through, telling you guys my thought process during fights, giving you tips and tricks on how to improve your gameplay, and just a bunch of stuff like that. Um, I really want to try and do this more on my channel because I feel like I could provide some really good tips for you guys and help you guys further improve your gameplay like I said. Right here, I'm using the good old Cloak Star skin, by the way. Best skin in the game, by far. That's such a slick skin. And as you can see on the bottom right here, I've got a lot of kills in this game. Uh, that's pretty obvious by the replay. Uh, the fucking replay mode telling it. But uh, yeah, let's just get into this. So, I think this was two days ago. We're play we dropped right down into the island. And right off the bat, I get dual pistols here. This is really good. This is a very good start. I get dual pistols, I get the ammo, and these two players drop in. And you can just fucking see on the fucking commando's face. She's like, Jesus Christ, what do we do? So immediately I hit that default for 86. I think he gets away. Or no, he does. He falls down, and then I, I just finish her. If someone dies of fall damage, and no one, like, made them fall down, like that guy just jumped off the roof and died, they are. And you kill them, you actually get the kill. As opposed to if someone else knocks them down and then you shoot them, they get the kill. But if they just fall down on their own time, if they just did a fucking Humpty Dumpty, then they die. Um, also, fair warning, I'm going to be pausing a lot on this because I'm, I'm just going to be like going through the whole game. So, when I drop island, I really like to keep control of the roof. The roof is the highest natural high ground on the island. So anyone around the, the area outside... I just instantly have high ground on them. Like, this guy right here, knock that guy instantly. He's dead. And my teammate is down there. I think my teammate is fighting somebody. Yeah. So my teammate is wearing Skull Trooper. Nameplates. That's what it is. And this is going to make it kind of clustered on the screen, which is why I would rather have recorded this gameplay than actually recording the replay. I don't like recording replays. It just doesn't look as smooth, but it, whatever, dude. You kind of have to deal with it. So, that guy took me down really low. I have a shield potion. I'm going to drop down on him, because I don't know why he didn't expect me to not be there. And he went. To, he was actually going to thirst my teammate, I'm pretty sure. So I dropped down from the roof, and I dual pistoled him, and I got the kill. So as you can see, there's actually a lot of players in this area. A lot of people like to drop island. It's a very good high kill spot as of now. This guy especially dropped down behind me as I was resting my friend. I quickly picked him up, turned around, and built some walls just to make sure that we didn't get cucked. Of course, I notice he's out here, and he doesn't know where I am, because I just built a wall. And they're actually fighting, so I quickly edit through, and just hit that guy for the fucking 172 headshot. Bam, right in the dome. Deleted. Gone from the game, never coming back. After this, I pick up some weapons and bandages, which are very much needed, and decide to... Uh, fucking back off for a sec just so I can heal. So right here I'm taking time to farm up mats. After I get kills and stuff, I really just like to take time to farm up mats. I usually nowadays don't go into a fight without having 400 mats. It's unless I just dropped. Um because honestly in the in the meta right now or one of the metas, there's a lot of SMGs and a lot of just breaking your builds down and if you don't have a lot of mats, you're going to get sprayed down. And it's not going to be fun. You don't want to get sprayed down. It's really bad. So, get a lot of mats. 300 will do. That's like 30 platforms. Which, I mean, that's that's a, that's just not enough for me. I like to get 400 to 500. So, yeah. Here we know there are probably people in the divot. But we go to Dusty Diner just so we can loot up. Get more materials. We want to make sure we're prepared for the next fight. You can never really be too sure when getting into fights on Fortnite. Because there are third parties. Just cleanups everything that can happen it's you need to be prepared in these fights also with my friend we are just a very aggressive duo so he will rush into a, a 2v1 when i'm not there although he is a good player so he can handle it himself it's 
It's actually really unfortunate. I just took that guy. I just took his kill right there. And we figured out these guys were bots when this guy was just walking forward, walking towards me with a shotgun, dude. That's not what you want to do in that situation. Right there, I don't know if you guys saw that, but I saw a double barrel on the ground. Did not pick it up. I don't like double barrels. I really just, I prefer the pump. Honestly, and this is the thing with shotguns in Fortnite. Double barrels are very good. They are like extremely powerful weapons. But you practically need to be kissing your opponent to be able to do damage with them. If you're right next to someone like this distance, you will probably do like 120 damage every hit. And I just don't like getting that close to people. It also only has two rounds in the gun. And the pump had f has five. And with a pump, I can just, I'm more confident with it just because I, I have more rounds. And I can rush easier. I really just don't like using the double barrel, so I never pick it up. Although it's probably one of the best shotguns, even with the nerf. If you're looking for the best shotgun to use in the game, I would recommend the heavy shotgun. Um, does a lot of damage. And it has seven rounds in it, which is like the most. And it shoots more than the pump. So the heavy shotgun is definitely the best shotgun in the game. So from this circle, there is um, a lot of ground, like from salty to retail. Or salty to greasy, I mean. We choose to rotate down the southwest region. Just to, because I think we hear gunfire, so we choose to rotate southwest. Also, if you look right here, uh, we are pink. My teammate is literally, like, in the middle of all of those arrows. And he is just getting fucking annihilated. And I think this is, I'm pretty sure this is where he dies. So as you can see, I took a shadow stone, which makes me invisible. This guy just became fucking visible right in front of me so i go in for the kill miss my pump shot he almost gets me in a one by one i think he might have been trying to trap me there yeah he's trying to trap me i edit down my staircase to go up with the double pistols miss and now he's just building up on me when people build up on me like this i really just don't like to contest that high ground because when you contest that high ground your head is super visible unless you build stairs above you and even that is unreliable so when people get that much of high ground on me, that's literally three stories of high ground right there, or two, whatever. Um, I usually just like to try and shoot them down, and if they're really good players, then I'll try and build up, or I'll go down and break down the building. But in that scenario, this guy wasn't a fast builder. He also built directly into a tree, so with the hitboxes, there's no way he could have built up any longer unless he fucking went like towards me and built up. Which he wasn't going to do. So he was trapped. He couldn't go up. I don't even think he could jump at that angle with the tree. So I just shot him down. And um, noticed he was white. So I started playing more aggro. As you can see building up. And I predicted he was going to peek me there. So I hit him with a pump shot. By now my teammate is already dead. He already got thirsted. And um, so I build around this guy. And I place a trap on his body. The thirsty. Because he's a bitch. Now I have the storm on me. I try not to be, I try not to freak out when taking storm damage because the storm is super close. As you can see, I'm literally right next to it. The thing I'm more worried about is there are at least like, here, let's count actually. There's one, two, three, four, no, there's three teams, three teams in this little spot right here. So I have to be careful. I actually, wait, let's go back a little bit. All right. So. Going back to storm damage, sorry about that, I kind of forgot about this. I drink the slurp juice because this is only a one ticker storm. It's not going to do much over time, and since I'm really close, it's not going to do much at all. It's only a one ticker storm. I drink a slurp juice because that will a slurp juice will actually regen faster than a one tick storm. So if you're in a one tick, make sure to always drink your slurp juice uh, before you do anything else. Um, getting out of the storm, I noticed these guys were fighting. I grapple in, play really aggro on that guy. I thirst that guy because I'm a little bitch. Get shot by someone else. So now I've got I've got two teams on me right here. This guy just pulls out a minigun, dude. He's ready. Threads it up. I get to... Holy shit, that guy got deleted. Whenever someone's uh, revving a minigun on you, you always want to try and close the distance. And I know that seems like really stupid, right? Because the minigun shoots very fast and just breaks your builds really easily. But... If you have, if you're good at building, you can build like two walls, two stairs in a, in like two seconds. Then I recommend doing that. So again, 
This guy comes up to me, charges up the fucking minigun. I build up really fast, two layers, two walls, jump up, hit him with a pump, and then hit him with the dualies, and he's dead. He can't do anything there. I don't even think he could have built in the, his defense there because there was just um, I just I shot him too fast. He couldn't have reacted. So yeah, that guy died. Going down here, this guy is just waiting for me. I think he was trying to heal. So I calm down, build up, gaining the high ground on him. This is something you're going to hear me say a lot in this video, and that's high ground. In every fight in Fortnite, you need high ground. High ground is like... In, in every game, high ground is good. Overwatch, PUBG, Fortnite, Minecraft. It's, it's good in every game. High ground is how you win. In this game especially, because headshots do so much damage in Fortnite... And if you're building on someone, you can edit on them. You can do so much things when you have high ground on someone. Low ground is good too, but high ground is just so much better. So I literally build on top of this guy, and he can't get up to me. So I just, I calm down, drink up minis. I don't know where he is, so I farm a tree. The tree is in my way. Notice he's right here, trying to heal up a little bit, I think. I break his wall there and put my wall. I think I was going to edit on him, but he edited out. So here he runs away and tries to get high ground. So right there, I just, I really did it to him. I just placed a wall over his stair. What he was going to try and do is build up. I knew he was going to do that. So I placed a fucking floor right there so he couldn't build up anymore. And his camera would get weird because he hit the floor in third person. I edited down and he would probably still be confused. And unfortunately I couldn't shoot him there. Um, I actually, like, whiffed hell on this fight. Yeah, as you can see, I just... So here we go. Right here is what I was talking about. He's staring up. Both of us are very low. We just kept taking stupid hits, and I really whiffed. Build up. Hit it with the floor. Add it down. One pump. That's how you do it, dude. You're really confused as sh And then I fucking hit him with the dance. <laughs> You really confuse the shit out of people when you do that. They don't really expect it most of the time, unless they're good players. Um, sometimes you can kind of anticipate when someone's going to do it to you. Um, it's a lot about predictions in this game, knowing what people are going to do. So now that I'm running and not really doing anything, I guess I could kind of go over what uh, this game, what I did this game so far. So there's three main things you really need to like know to be good at the game. Building, obviously. Um, you need to be able to get high ground with building. And if you know how to build and you know what to build and when to build, then you can get high ground very easily and win fights so fast. You need to know how to edit. Editing comes in a lot. It comes in a lot. Editing comes in real handy in fights because you can... Uh, if someone's in a one by one right? And you're shooting them out, but they're spamming the walls so you can't get through. You can just break their wall and put your own wall before they do, and then you can edit a hole and shoot them. And they can't do anything about it unless they break the wall and place their own. Editing is super vital to this game, I think. And if you want to get good, if you really have the passion to get good, you need to learn how to edit. It's really not that hard. You can just set it to a key and press it, left click and draw what you want to edit, and then press it again and it edits it. And then predictions. You need to know what people are going to do. Um... Like in that one fight, I predicted that guy was going to try and get high ground. I stayed on top of his staircase. I placed the floor so he would get confused. And then I edited through and one pumped him and he died. He had no chance of hitting me there unless he was just a god tier player. So right here, um, we're doing something what I like to call... Con Jesus Christ, I can't talk. I'm doing something um, here, which is what I like to call border control. Border control is good because when you get outside of the zone... Especially if it's a zone that ticks a lot, like a two-tick storm. You can just set up a one-by-one -one in border camp. People, so when they run out of storm, you shoot them. Now, this guy was actually a really good player. He uh, built a like little cubby hole and hid in there. And when I went down, he edited through. And actually fucking surprised me for a second. He literally edited through and took the high ground on me. Um... But he came down for some reason, and so I was able to get the high ground on him once more. There was also a uh, person third party in us right here, but he wasn't that great of a player. I don't actually know how he killed this guy. Spoiler alert, he did he did kill this guy, so we're going to see right here. 
So look at him, dude. Look at that guy. He's a default. So here we have this guy trying to take the high ground on me again. Double ramping, doing everything. Um, he jumped down. I don't know why he did that. Because he could have easily just kept building there. I'm actually curious, right? Okay. So let's see what this guy did. <laughs> Pretty good default, dude. Wow, you fucking hate to see that, dude. So that default, <laughs> that guy killed that guy. That guy's probably pissed too. So I hear they fight, I go down, you know. I'm pretty confident one of them's probably very low. I break his floor and edit it, and I notice he's, he's just low, dude. He's literally one, so I just charge, and it's really all there is to it. Man. Th take third parties, like whenever so two people are fighting, go in and, and join the fight. That's what a third party is. It's like cleaning up in Minecraft, but it's a party. So we're sitting on 10 kills too. I'm in top 10. This is very a very good game for me. I was feeling really good right here. Um, I think this is one of our first wins of the day too. I think we already got a win, but this is our second. And I clutched it out, which felt really good. So right here, right, I'm close to zone. I decide, you know what, I have some, I have like 20 seconds maybe. I'll build up and try and third party this fight. Um, so I build up right here. And I actually built behind me, and the reason for that being is so I don't get fucking fourth partied. Which is literally, someone could have just sniped me in the back and I would have died. So right here, I notice there's two teams. I build up a little more, build behind me again. And then I see an easy shot on this guy, so I take it, down him. Uh, that was just kind of lucky, because it caused this guy to rush. And for some reason, his teammate was also down. So... I missed that shot. Go with my Silent Scar. The Bloom is amazing on the Silent Scar. And that guy, for some reason, decided to stick the res on his teammate. I guess he thought they could have lived. But there was no way they would have lived that. Uh, I think when that zone closed, it was a 5 ticker. So, at that point, you're just kind of fucked. And there's nothing you can really do. So right here, I see the solo. I actually tag him with that. That's a very good shot on me. And with this, I actually decide to go forward and rush. Um, when I And this was actually a really ballsy play by me. Because I, I took the chance to rush him. My pump could have done like 20 damage. Probably wouldn't have gotten the kill. And he could have one-pumped me, and that would have been the game. That's the thing with shotguns. They're super unreliable. SMGs are honestly more reliable than shotguns. Um, most of the time, shotguns are still good. So I literally just landed on his build, and one pumped him and he was dead so i'm rotating over there and i'm building as i'm running because i don't want to get sniped by the thermal that i heard thermals do a lot of damage and it's really easy to hit scan with them because you can literally see people like with the fucking heat seeking so yeah i just wall over i'm good i see this guy this guy actually kind of surprised me a little bit i didn't ex expect anyone to be over here so he's hitting me hitting me take high ground really fast when he jumps down and predict him to try and go up into my 1v1. 1v1? What? I predict that he's going to go up into my 1x1. One one. So I place a trap there in hopes hitting him. I'm not going to hit him. Can't get my shield off. He's really... They're both lasering me from below. And I notice this guy's like right below me. So I take a chance right here. And when he goes through my wall, he wasn't going to build. He had a shotgun out. So I just take my shotgun out. I'm really lucky I did 208 damage there. Pumps normally don't do that much. And uh, while his teammate's coming towards me, I, I decide to thirst his teammate just so I have an easier time. Um, fun fact, I don't encourage thirsting. It's really a shitty thing to do when you down someone and instantly thirst them. Um, I'd rather you just down someone and then fight their teammate normally. But sometimes I like to down someone and thirst their teammate so their teammate rushes me and I kind of know where they are. Um... Because most of the time, you know, you down a teammate and you'll try to get revenge. That's what this guy did. I'm sure you'll realize, after I thirsted, thirsted this guy, his teammate just went full fucking sprint towards me, dude. He was pissed. So here he is. Um, he's obviously not a good player. He's not building. He's just running forward. So I just build up, get the high ground, get the high ground again. While standing behind my staircase, I just hit him with a pump shot right there. He does manage to hit me. I don't think he really hit me for much, though. He's literally on one, and I just fall up with my SMG. And that's the kill. 
So it's a, it's a 1v2 right now. I'm going to take my time, use my campfire to heal up, get to as max as I can before I take this fight. I also have to move for Storm, so I take that. Um, I switch out my sniper for the RPG because it's the final two people and we're probably going to, I assume we're going to be build fighting, so I just take the RPG instead of the bolt action. Um, um, this guy starts building up. I can test him. I win that little exchange. Place another trap. Uh, try to assume where he's going. So right there. Just hit him with the turnaround. I actually... That guy had, like, so little health. I thought he had more. But I guess he just had, like, no... Oh, he did have health. Okay. So one of them is very low. That's the guy I'm build fighting right here. So again... Um, I get knocked down. They're kind of split. I just build up right here. Turn around, hit him with the RPG. I'm kind of glad he wasn't a good player because he probably would have built right there. And then his teammate literally hasn't built anything yet except right there. Um, I place a floor there. You don't see it until like I actually edit through. But I place, I go up, take the high ground like that. Place a floor. He jumps on me, right? So he's going to jump on my build and try and headshot me. But I place a floor. So he's like really confused because he doesn't know what the fuck I just did. Place a floor. Quickly edit through the floor. Uh, stare up again. Place a walls behind me. And now I have high ground on him. And he doesn't know what to do. So he stares up like that. He's not double layering his stairs. So it's really easy to shoot him. I shoot him for only 19. I start lasering through his builds. Um, right here he, he just holds up completely. And then I break his wall. Place my own wall. Edit through the wall. Pump him in the head. And that's how we win the game. Hey okay, guys, that's going to be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, if you guys like this type of video, if you guys like me talking about my gameplay and how I how I play and what I do in these situations, my like step-to-step -step thoughts, let me know in the comments. If you guys thought I talked too much, let me know in the comments. Just let me know everything. Tell me everything, guys. And yeah, um, this has been The Gamer, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out.